Hello friends, welcome back to the vlog. It is Tuesday and it is December the 7th. I think I'm just going to go by days now because Vlogmas days don't quite line up with the actual day of the week, if that makes any sense. So, like, even though it's Tuesday, December 7th, it's not Vlogmas Day 7, if that makes any sense. So, anyways, I just got home. It's been a busy day, and I'm just now picking up the camera. I don't anticipate that today's vlog is going to be very long, but... I will try my very best to kind of like squeeze some footage in there so you can at least get, you know, just a little bit of something. So I just got through the door. Good thing is I have some packages here and I'm super excited to share them with you. One of them is the holiday cards that I've ordered. They came a whole week early, which makes me very happy. And then I have something else there from Banana Republic. One of my favorite brands is actually a dream of mine to one day work with Banana Republic. And I'm really hoping that I can actualize that by next year. So for 2022, it's a dream of mine to work with Banana Republic. I've already accomplished one dream, which is to work with Majori. But before we get into that, let's take a look at my advent calendar. La Fabrique à Cadeau de l'Occitane. Okay, so today, we're actually on day seven because it's the seventh day of the month. So we just need to find seven. These circles are really, really hard to see. So we have 12, 13, 18, 21, 22, seven. Here we go. So this is day seven. Let's take a look, see. See what we've got going on in here. Oh, oh God, I can't get it out. This is the Gel Douche Vervain. This is the Verbena Shower Gel. So that was in day seven. Day six had the hand cream and Hina actually really liked it. So she took that one just like I thought she would. And day seven is this guy right here. What I love about this advent calendar is that it smells so good that you just kind of want to just take a big deep whiff. All right, so that's the advent calendar. It is 3.25. Hina and Leith are on their way home. They should be home within the next five minutes or so, at which point, as soon as Leith comes through the door, he is going to want to um, open his advent calendar. And I'm sorry if my hair looks a little bit crazy today. I washed out the gel last night. I didn't like how crunchy it made my hair feel. And actually, even at the chiropractor appointment, I felt so self-conscious because she had to be like resting on my head a lot and working at the base of my neck. And all I could hear was my hair crunching. So, so glad that's washed out. Not sure how I feel about it, but I'm going to give it a second try, hopefully with like a more oily base and see if that works. Or maybe I'll try it as a twist out. We'll see. This is kind of what we're here for today. The holiday cards. And I... I'm so excited. So on the front of the envelope, it says deliver to, and then the back of it has our address. And then now for the cards. Oh my goodness gracious. Guys, I'm so nervous. What if they're like blurry? I just went with Vista print. So I am a little nervous for the quality. Okay, so let me... <laughs> Okay, let me show them to you guys. So here is the front of the card. Um, it says, Happy Holidays. And I had, I paid extra for the little detail of having this be a raised gold foil. And so it's really, really lovely. So that's on the front of the card. It's our little family. And then on the back, I had a lathe added to that. And it says, Warmest thoughts and best wishes for a wonderful season and a very happy new year. And I wanted it to kind of feel festive, but still celebrating the holidays. And so this is what we came up with. We went for a premium mat and on a very, very heavy stock. And it's really lovely and it feels very, very luxe. And the raised gold foil also feels very, very luxe. So I'm very, very happy with these cards. I'm looking forward to mailing them out and I will be selecting a couple of my OG subscribers and sending them holiday cards. And so I will be reaching out to you in the next couple of days to get your addresses so that I can mail this off to you. I saw this on the Banana Republic website and I really, really liked it. I waited until the Black Friday um, sale to get it, 
but it is just this beautiful oversized black sweater and it has a zipper and then it just kind of opens up like that it's super nice i'm gonna go upstairs and try it on i just love the contrast of the black with the beige and it's really lovely it's very heavy feels very luxe i can like see this paired with like a, a cream turtleneck under here would look so good a cream turtleneck some like fitted trousers and some riding boots or even like some chunky boots would look really really good like a really nice juxtaposition of like a classy with a little bit of um, edge I'm gonna try this on for you guys and um, we'll see how it goes I'm wearing some blue jeans right now so I think they should be okay all right friends so here is the top I'm gonna turn up the brightness so that you guys can see this better. So here's the top. This is it with the zipper fully down. And so it has kind of like this really like open necked vibe and I'm wearing it with my Everlane skinnies. Casual, here it is zipped up, super cozy. This is gonna be really good for my Ottawa trip. Laith is home. I'm gonna go downstairs and help him open up his advent calendar. But that's pretty much that's the that's the sweater. Love it. I think it looks really nice. Lee, why didn't you wait for Mama? What number did you open? Ten. You're supposed to open number seven. Okay. He's like, I'll open it. What did you get? A ramp. A ramp. That's very cool. He thought number ten was a car. He thought it was a car because everything else is shaped like a car. See, there you go. He's like, I'm gonna go home. And Number 10. The holiday cards. Amazing. You like them? Yeah. Look at the back. Huh. That's cute. Do you like it? I love it. A little bit of chaos today. Leif was being a little testy. But all is well. He is gone swimming. I'm just tidying up. I want to do this quickly so that I'm able to... Um, quickly also edit the vlog. I want to see if I can get something done before they get back home because when it's quiet, that is when I'm usually most productive. I'm just quickly kind of putting like stuff away. He likes to walk around with toys and Hina bought apples today. So she told him to put the toys he's using in this basket. And I think that's a pretty smart idea and a great way to reuse something. So I just left those there so that when he comes home, he has his little basket that he can put his stuff in, which is really nice. So I'm just collecting all of them because they're literally all over the house. I don't know if I showed you guys our fish. We have a fish. His name is Dorian and he is a beta. Late named him he actually needs to eat did i feed you this morning you can't remember but i don't want to overfeed you so i think it's best i just don't i'm pretty sure i fed you though oh he's looking for food i'm sorry bud since you're hungry let me just give you a, a tiny bit just a little bit okay and there there you go that's all you're gonna get because i don't know if you ate or not hina took leave to the pet store and she bought him a fish because he wanted a fish that day and so he got his fish, loved the fish for all of two hours and then didn't love it anymore. So I inherited the fish because clearly Hina is not gonna take care of the fish. So I've been taking care of him. I've been changing his water. I've been feeding him, all of that stuff. I've been making sure he's alive. So here's Dorian guys. I don't know if you've ever met him. He's our second pet. Place, place is pretty tidy. I just have to throw the compost in the green bin and um, hurry up and get upstairs. I've been thinking a lot about bullet journaling lately and I used to bullet journal a lot and I was successfully bullet journaling for six months and then I don't know what happened, life just happened I guess, but while I was doing it, I just felt so in control and lately I haven't been feeling like I'm in control and so I think I'm gonna start again. I was gonna wait until the new year, but I think I'm gonna start preparing my, my journal. I, obviously, I don't do the like super artistic 
creative stuff. I just really like it for jotting down my stuff. So when I create my spread for next month, I will share it with you guys. Usually people start pre start prepping their spreads from like right around now. Um, so I think that I'm gonna start prepping my spread soon. As soon as I, I finish um, or I have time, my goal is to edit two vlogs tonight and then I'll essentially be all caught up. But I will apologize and say honestly, guys, I don't think, let me have a seat. I don't think that tonight's vlog is gonna be very long solely for the matter that I barely picked up the camera today. I picked up the camera when I got home at 3.30 and then we had a virtual doctor's appointment for Laith. Um, at four and then we had uh, dinner and then he left for swimming just now and his swimming starts at 5 30 and so it's just been like this and then what I'm gonna do now is edit and you guys will really need to see me editing there's not much to it I also want to show you my Majori bracelet I'm super excited this is the baby box bracelet and it's gorgeous. I think it's 14 karat gold. I will link it in the description down below, but this has two loops and I have it on the second and tightest loop. And this is how far it falls on my hand. It's so, so stunning. It's beautiful. It kind of glistens in the light and it just looks really, really nice. And so I'm really in love with this. It makes a really, really good gift for someone you know who likes dainty jewelry like i love dainty jewelry i think it's so beautiful it looks lovely with my fresh mani really love it and there is no product in here so it does look a little bit kind of frizzy um and a little just kind of all over the place i'm also looking into purchasing new hair care products so i'm really into oribe right now their stuff just looks so good, but they're so expensive. So I'm just, I'm debating it because I have a 20% off coupon from Sephora. And so I feel like I want to use my coupon to kind of treat myself to some Oribe, but we'll see. I'm going to go upstairs and start editing the vlogs that I'm behind on so that you guys can have a vlog tomorrow. If you count this vlog that I'm filming right now, I'm behind three vlogs. As you guys can see, I'm like super tired, so I'm trying not to go to bed at 1.30 tonight. But thank you so much for watching today's vlog, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good night, guys.